Hi everyone, welcome back to part 3 of the VISM tutorial. So, my intersection might look a little bit different than part 2. That's because I have cleaned up my left turn lanes, connected them, and made some right turn lanes. So, you may be wondering, Jessica, how did you do this magic? Well, let's look at our left turn lanes first. So we have this southbound left turn lane going to the eastbound Ottawa Street. So what you do, as I have showed in part two, is I hover over the link, I right click it, I hold it down, and I drag to the lane I want to go to. And yeah. That's about it. Make sure that the connector menu comes up because otherwise you haven't actually made a connector, you just made a link and that doesn't really work. So make sure your spline is at 10 and that you go to the link, uh, the, the lane of the link that you want it to go to. So it goes from lane one of my left turn lane to lane two of the through lane. Let's press OK. I'm just going to fix this a little bit so that the connector is near the beginning or the end of my left turn lane. Now, it's a little bit trickier for the right turn lanes. I'm going to show you how to do that with the River Street southbound. Go to the where you want people to start right turning. Hover over it, right click, hold, and drag. Now, because you have two lanes right now, it's gonna show you a two lane connector. That's not what actually happens in real life. So once you have that connector, make sure your spline is 10, but select the lane that you actually want it to go to. So you can actually toggle through and see how it looks but it seems that if you just click lane one, lane one, it's lane 10, you will actually just make a one lane right turn lane. And you can click it to adjust because, you know, sometimes it doesn't work very well and it doesn't look pretty good. And now you have finished up your connectors and you can just make sure that each of these connectors goes to the right places and just click through. Now, in traffic engineering, you will always have conflict zones. Conflict zones or conflict areas define which vehicles have priority when the paths of two vehicles intersect. These must be set for all the important conflict directions. So, how do you set these conflict zones to give priority to the different vehicles? Go to the left column and you will see something called conflict areas. Click the text, not the icon. And it shows you all the different conflict zones in the VISM model. Let's zoom out a little bit so you can see the conflict zone here. You can also go to Hover your cursor over conflict area again, right click, and it will show you the list of where all your conflicts are. So, so this is a list of all your conflict areas down here. Now, what you can do rather than using the, this, is to zoom in and left click each of these conflict zones. Once you have left clicked the box, I mean the conflict zone, you can right click to toggle through the different priorities that are available. So green means that they have priority and red means that they don't. So 
if you for all your through to left turn lanes the through should have priority so click and right click make sure you're on the right one because it just toggled through make sure you're selecting it so select and toggle select and toggle now we can do the same for the right turn lanes select I'm just gonna quickly change the geometry of that because I don't like that go back to conflict areas and we can do the priority again so for right turn lanes the priority will go to the through traffic so ooh, did I toggle something correct yes I did so this left turn lane let's toggle through yep perfect this one toggle through perfect toggle through toggle through As for the approach, the through vehicles once again have priority, through vehicles have priority, through vehicles have priority, yep. And now let's check out the left turn lanes. Make sure you're choosing the right lane the right conflict area because there's going to be a lot so here's my third lane let's find my left turn lane and that is not the correct one because they're never going to have conflicts is this one no because they would have the red light is it this one yep that's the opposite so I think it's this one because you will have conflict between the left turn lane and the through lane and if you give priority for that as all through intersections always have priority over lefts so it should look like The left turn should be red and the through should be green. Let's go to the next left turn lane. Nope, not that one. Yes, that one. Through gets priority. Left turn lane, down, the through. Nope, not this one. This one. Through has priority. And the last left turn lane. 